The National Theatre and the City of Westminster Libraries are pleased to present the winning entry of the curious incident of the dog in the night time's first ever short story competition. Playwright Simon Stevens called the winning story adventurous, effective and powerful. Written by 11-year-old Shiv from Westminster Underschool and titled The Curious Incident of Rocky, My Dog. After three days of incessant torrential rain, the swollen river finally burst its banks and unleashed its fury on my village. Most of the residents were caught by surprise since it wasn't monsoon season. However, the relentless heavy rain caused anxiety amongst the local residents and as the waters savagely rushed in, many of them fled. I refused to leave. My dog, Rocky, had been swept away a few hours earlier by the swift and merciless currents and I was now left alone, numb with cold. Filled with utter grief, I couldn't believe the evil curse that has been bestowed upon us. I stared with glossy eyes at the calamity around me. Houses were inundated, their roofs ripped out and hurtled away in the fierce winds. Trees were uprooted and furniture floated in the churning grey waters. The heavy downpour had triggered a landslide, causing further damage to neighbouring houses. My brother and my uncle had taken shelter in a secondary school nearby, which has been turned into a temporary field centre. They had had no time to salvage their belongings and they had begged for me to join them. However, I couldn't bear to seek shelter, knowing that Rocky was probably in peril somewhere in the savage torrents. The wind moaned and howled like a ghostly spirit, and it was impossible to see anything in the murky depths of the pounding water. A horrible sense of loneliness bled through me, and every nerve in my body warned me not to carry on my search. Despite this, I advanced in the knee-deep swirling water towards a pile of rubble floating aimlessly in the middle of the sunken field. My legs felt like blocks of wood as I moved with agonising slowness and my teeth chattered like castanets. As I got closer, I heard a piercing, deathly howl and I quickened my step. I let out a squeal of delight when I caught a glimpse of Rocky's soaking wet brown coat. He lay inside a tattered cardboard box, curled into a ball, badly wounded. Blood oozed from one of his paws and he let out a small whimper when he saw me. I carefully lifted him up to my shoulders, determined to get out of this hell.